These semicircles were the key to holding back one of the most destructive forces on Earth. And not only that, they're bringing food and jobs back to Africa at a pace that the continent has never seen before. Every year, the Sahara Desert grows by around 0.8%. And that might not sound like much, but it translates to 18.6 million acres of land turning into sand every year, slowly swallowing the Sahal. For decades, farmers in Senegal and Burkina Faso have battled the encroaching desert. But with climate change accelerating and harmful farming practices continuing, the scale of soil degradation has become too great for any one farmer to fight alone. You might assume the solution lies in technology, but in regions with weak infrastructure and limited funding, high-tech solutions just can't keep up. But what if the answer wasn't high-tech at all? What if it came down to an ancient farming method and a country's refusal to surrender to the sand? Let me introduce you to the Great Green Wall Project and the small crescent-shaped hole in the ground that's putting Africa back in the fight against the sand. It's called the Half Moon Basin, just a shallow, curved ditch carved into the earth by hand. The biggest issue with soil in northern Senegal is that it cannot hold water. Once land fully dries out, it absorbs water 10 times slower than healthy soil, making it nearly impossible for plants to take root and add this to the erratic rains across the Sahal, short bursts of heavy downpours followed by months of droughts, with most of the water simply washing away. That's where the Half Moon Basin shines. It simply traps rainwater, giving it time to sink deep into the ground. Farmers also fill it with compost or fertilizer and plant native seeds adapted to the climate to cradle new life. But as you've guessed, one basin alone cannot stop the desert. That's why the Great Green Wall, an ambitious African-led movement, is bringing communities and countries together to beat the Sahara, aiming to restore 8,000 kilometers of land across more than 20 countries, from Senegal in the west to Djibouti in the east. By 2030, the goal is to bring back 100 million hectares of degraded land, and it's not just a wall, it's a mosaic of forest, farms and water systems. Thousands of local projects working in sync to bring the land back to life. And the results are already showing. In just one year, regions with thousands of basins have seen a dramatic transformation. Some projects that began over a decade ago are now fully revitalized and communities are seeing food return, jobs return and hope for a better future return. As humans, we often overcomplicate problems. We overthink, overbuild, and end up overwhelmed. But these West African farmers and governments have flipped that mindset. They've shown the world that sometimes the most powerful solutions are already in our hands. But all we need to do is act together and act at scale. I hope this movement keeps growing and Africa can push back the Sahara so the people there don't just survive, they thrive.